everyone, welcome to this belly dance beginners workout. So in a lot of my workouts, I do some moves that could be advanced. And a lot of you have been asking me if I could slow down a bit and teach you how a beginner class would kind of go. So what we're gonna be doing is doing a bit of a stretch kind of workout. It is still a fat burning workout because we are moving nice and getting through the rhythms and getting our entire body working. So don't worry about that, you will be burning calories as we go along, still a workout. And um, before we begin, I just want to let you know that I do classes in London right now. I'm performing and you can buy these hip scarves on my website. Their link should be below. You can also subscribe on my website to loads of news and events that are going to be coming up. So I hope to see you there and just stay in tune. If you like my videos, subscribe, press the bell, uh, comment and let me know how it goes. So welcome. Okay, so we're going to start with our feet. So if you're a beginner, we start with our feet underneath our hips. So we should be right down in a line. So I want you to get the basic posture first. Then we bend our knees slightly, not too much. I mean, you can at the beginning if you want, but you don't want to be bending forward. You want to be nice and keep that pelvis. This is your pelvis on here. It's that kind of joint, well, pelvis is there. Pelvis can go back. We don't want to be doing that and we don't want to go arching too far under. You want to find that mid, neutral position and once you find that mid neutral position that is your starting point for most moves in belly dancing shoulders back chest slightly lifted relaxed shoulders and then what i do is imagine river flowing from your hands coming down and then you just stand and that's your basic position okay now that bit wasn't so much a workout but we needed to get that bit done so relax for a second take yourself into a basic position Okay, very nice. From here, we're gonna start with a warm up. So we've got little in hands go in. We release, plie, bend the knees, and we extend, reaching all the way up as far as you can go by the side of the ears. So let's try that again. So we're gonna go release, in, release, up. Release, in, release, up. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back of the car, which is where you'll layers muscle is but it's also just if you think about the lower part of the knees that part there let's speed it up a bit if you can halfway lovely so we're trying to warm up the whole body here keeping it nice and comfortable keep those feet nice and flat four three two one hold stretch center nice again stretch Center. And don't worry how far you can go today. Every day, your body will be improving as you go along with my video. So, center. Nice. And again, sa. Center. Sa. Center. Excellent. So, really finding that stretch near breaks. Two more. Two. One. Hold. Shoulders. Release. Shoulders. Release. So, you want to keep that bend, keep those thighs activated. And really working those shoulders front up to the ears. Nice, all the way up to the ears. And take it forward. Lovely. Very nice. Two. One. Lovely. I really want you to squeeze that hip, push it to one side. So you get a really deep stretch in that glute. Hold. And take it to the other side. This is a really good stretch. Lovely. And then take it all the way to the back. So you can feel that stretch behind the legs. We keep that back nice and flat, and then take it all the way up. So we're gonna repeat that, and then we're gonna push the pelvis forward, push a little bit. Nice, keep that belly up. Side stretch, bending the knees, take it to the back, bending, straightening the back of the leg. Side, and forward. So let's try and make that a little bit bigger. Side, back, side, Forward, side, back. This is actually moving itself. <laughs> side, cross the hands, side, forward, side, cross the hands, side, forward. What I have noticed is that this move really makes a really nice stretch for the glutes, the hamstrings, and also the abs as we come forward. Side, release, two, nice, warming up. Let's go the other way, and push. Release, side, remember that flat back, extend, release, hands out, hands to the back, hands to the side, hands to the front, hands to the side, hands to the back. 
to a lot of going on here. So if you don't want the hands to fall, that's totally fine. You don't have to. It's up to you. Right, let's get two more. Two. Side. We're creating a circle here. One. Lovely. And we're using a lot of movements that we would be using usually. Okay. I want your feet to go out a little bit. We're working a bit more on the thighs. We're going to strengthen them as we go along. We're just going to exhale, release. Take it. Nice. Hold it two more. Lovely. Hold it all the way side. We reach, we reach, we reach, we reach. So this is an isolation movement and you're actually working from the upper part of the body. Keep that rib cage nice and lifted. Try not to slouch side to side, rather let the arm be pulled side to side. So really stretching. This is all to stretch the muscles so that when we do our movements, you can see it quite clearly. Because when we begin, usually the movements can look a little bit small, but I really want you to stretch so you can get a bit more out of it. Lovely. Get those feet a little bit wider than the hip width apart. We're gonna have our hands behind our head, planting it behind our ear. Nice here. We're gonna go shift, 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 shift. So the hips are actually going outside of the usual alignment of the body. Imagine your chest is staying still and your hips have a mind of their own and they wanna go side to side. I mean, I can go with it, but today what we wanna do is work on this isolation little of a movement. Really stretching the hips, four, three, Two. The reason I'm holding this <laughs> is so I can show you that the chest is trying to stay still. But you can have your hands here. Let's try that. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Two more. Two. Take it down. Two. Lift it up. Two. Lovely. And a one. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a few more moves and then we're going to get a choreography in it. First of all, if we can just lift up that right leg and rotate into little circles. Excellent. And then take it to the right leg. Yeah, your right leg. It's different for me because you're opposite me, so I might get it all wrong. Well, I'm really sorry. Okay. Lovely. We're going to take it into toes. Point, 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 point. So you can really feel those arches of the foot. This is so that we can really develop some leg muscles, so that when you start to really work up from the beginner, you're gonna already have the strength in your legs and the power in order to do things like turns, to be on releve the whole time, to open your toes, and keeping that core connected. So we're gonna swing, release, swing, release, swing, release, swing, release. Nice. Really let those elbows be nice and fluid. Perfect. Then we cross the knees. Point. Don't forget the pointing foot. Nice. Stay with it. Four, three, two, one. Lastly, we're going to just warm up the neck. So I want the same time if you can just bend one knee. Bend, bend, soften those knees. So we're lifting hip. Once we're comfortable here, we're going to start working on the neck. You don't have to do the knees at the same time, it's okay. We're going to do side. Placing one hand on the other side. All we're doing is stretching our neck so we can have a wider range of movements. Lovely. And release the hand, lifting off the other hand. And then we're going to push down the neck. If, again, if the hips is too much, if it's too advanced to be doing two things right now, just focus on the neck movement. It's a bit more important. Perfect. Lovely. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stop and go. We're going to go side, center, side, center, side, center, side, center. And very slowly do a half circle round. Don't take it too back. Just hold. And then take it all the way to the center and take it the other way. Okay, let's begin. So the first move that we're going to be doing in my little choreography is going to be those shifts that we just went through. So again, in our basic neutral position, shoulders back, chest lifted, knees slightly bent, open up. We're going to start with the hips 
shifting side to side, but this time our feet, as you can see, are closer together. So we're going to take it side, push, and imagine there's a line going through. It's not going forward or back, it's going directly to the side. We're going to hold it there, swish through the knees all the way to the other side. So this right leg, your right leg, is a bit more straight, and this left leg is bent. Okay, hands can be out here. We're going to go a bit faster. Keep that chest nice and high and lifted. Really trying to make sure that there's a lot of room here in your core area. Four, three, two. Let's take this a bit faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you see the way the knees are also gliding across each other diagonally? One, two, three. It's not here. <laughs> One, two, three. You want to keep the feet almost together. Three. In fact, try it with the feet together. It just means you can't go out as much. But what I'm doing here is really stretching your obliques and also working that core muscle pretty hard. Very nice. Four more. Four. Three. And the hardest bit is isolating. So keeping that upper body nice and still. Two. One. Now what we're going to do is make the hips look bigger we bring our hands, which are down, and we're going to bring one hand goes out and then in, like a wave. Through the fingers, release. Through the fingers, release. And this one's going the opposite way. This one's going this way. This one's on top, like that. And then we go with the hips. Excellent. Four, three, two. Let's go from the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, shoulders back, one, two, three, feet are nice and flat, excellent, two, one, and relax, take it all the way back, give yourself a little bit of a stretch, take it forward, excellent, next move we're going to do is these little steps, we do a lot of travelling sequences in belly dancing, but here's a tiny step, step, tap, step, this is it, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, Cross the knee in, step. This is a bit more of the cabaret sort of ballet dance, which is maybe what you'd see in restaurants, which is nice. Now you can lift the hip if you want as well. Lift, in, lift, in. It's up to you, lift, in. I'm trying to get beat. Nice, chest nice and lifted. Four more, four, three, two, let's take it from the top. One, two, three, threes, one, two, three, one, two, steps. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna switch up the timing a bit, seven, eight. It's just gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, faster, one, two, Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, push. One, two, push. Step. Release, release, release. How are you feeling out here? You okay? Great, we're going to add another move. Remember, you can always go back if you wanted to take that slower. Another foot move, we're going to go step forward. Step forward on this leg here. Step with the opposite leg, hover. So it's on toes, almost a hover. Then we lift that hip up in diagonal. So we lift and you have this squeeze in the obliques. Can you see it's all there? And then you drop. So let's just take that forward from the second. Step, step, lift, down. And four, three, two, one, step, step, lift, down. Next move, we step on that same leg, step down. And let's, can you see right in front of the other one? We lift off the back leg, we point, we lift that hip, lift, down. Same thing, up and diagonal, keep that squeeze in the core, and push it down, 
using the squeeze in our glutes. But don't worry too much about the glutes right now, we'll develop that muscle in time. So I'm gonna take the back of it and we're gonna walk a bit forward. Step, forward, lift, down, step, forward, uh, lift, down, step, forward, lift, down, step, forward, lift, down. And you can travel more, I'm not traveling so much because I still want to stay on the camera. Let's try that again, forward, a bit faster, step, forward, lift, down, okay, this is not too much faster, <laughs> lift, down, step, forward, lift, down. Let's just shimmy back. Excellent. Step, forward, lift, down. Lift, down. Lift, down. Lift, down. Chest shimmy back. We're gonna go through the wall. <laughs> step, forward, lift, down. Step, forward, lift, down. Step, forward, lift, down, step, forward, lift, down. Shimmy back, well done. How are you feeling at home? Okay, well done. Also, again, you can always reverse and um, rewind if I'm going a bit fast for you. Um, so, again, let's take ourselves from the top. What I'm actually gonna do with that last bit is just go step, lift, step, lift, and then straight away so you can shimmy back, okay? From the top, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step, 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 step. And step. Hit down, step. Hit down, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Repeat. Step. Hit down, step. Hit down, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Step, hit down, step, hit down, shimmy, shimmy. You might have noticed what I just did with my arms. Step, hit down, step, hit down, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay, so what I just did with my hand was a step, hit down. You don't have to do this, it's a bit of a transition move. Um, hip down, I'm just transitioning at the same time as showing you I'm opening up to the other side. It's just changing direction, let's say. So one more movement we'll be teaching you today. So we'll go over this two more times and then I'll keep teaching. So let's begin from the top. And four, three, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three steps. One, two, three, four. Repeat, one, two, three. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, four. And one, hip down. One, hip down. Chest, 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 chest. One, hip down. One, hip down. Chest, 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 chest. So what we're gonna do next is um, snake arms, which are the basic of the arm movement when it comes to belly dancing. So shoulders nice and roll back. Keep that core nice and connected. That neutral position I was telling you about. We're gonna imagine, visualize this gigantic beach ball blowing up underneath your arm and your elbows starting to go up. So the elbow is the first thing to come up. The beach ball is growing under the arm. And as we let it go there, it's not really about to bend. This one has to bend straight away. So we're in this position. And then we let that beach ball fly away. So we let it go by going through the wrists through the fingers and then let it go. And then take it down with the elbow, elbow, elbow. Keep that back, hand back. And then we really, really push the fingers and then it can release. That's the basis of it. But as you can see, I shouldn't really be having straight arms through any of it. So I'll show you how it goes. Again, elbows up, two, three. As it comes up, can you see my elbow's already bending? We release through the fingers. It comes all the way down, 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 down. And as it's about to release, it's back into that S shape. So we're thinking the snake. Very nice, and we release. So keep the tension through the fingers. And again, lift, release. Lift, release. Lift, release. Lift, release. And then you can roll. Let's try the other side. 
So we've got that giant beach ball growing. Remember the elbow? Elbow grows, lift, 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 lift. Exhale. So you see the elbows dipping down as this is, fingers are about to leave the ball. So it's letting it go all the way back around. Being lost in my own hand. Let's lift, 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 lift. Let it grow and extend, releasing away. I want you to the shoulders relaxed, okay? Lift, 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 lift. Automatically, your shoulders are gonna rotate. You can emphasize that, but that's gonna be a bit more advanced. But today, it's just beginners. I'm gonna get you through the basics. Okay, now let's combine the two hands. We can start with this right hand. The right hand lifts. As it comes to this position, the opposite hand, sorry, that's your left hand, isn't it? And the opposite hand's gonna pick up. So remember the elbow. Elbow, and then you're in this mid position. One hand is facing you, one hand's facing away from you. We extend, release, release, keep the tension in the fingers, and then they slowly switch the hands, switch. Okay, so it probably looks a bit strange. Once I smooth it out, it'll be a bit better. Keep the elbows nice. Get a bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can take it even smaller. Excellent, so we're getting a nice arm workout. Big, two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget the fingers, take it smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And big, 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 very nice. Take it small, 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 small. Too big, one, two, Small, 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 small. One, two, small, small. All I'm doing is adding a bend. Big, big. One, two, three, four. Big, big. One, two, three, four. Scoop, 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 scoop. And release as both. And this is very Shakira, this move. She actually does that. Thing, a little, little, little. I know when she does that thing. Um, keep filling in the arms. <laughs> We're gonna add that to our little routine. Let's see how that goes. Okay. We're gonna go from the top, and then at the end, we're gonna add that one, two with the bends. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, step it out. Step, step, step. Repeat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step. Step, 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 up, down, step, up, down, shimmy, 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 repair, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, very nice, so we're going to take it to the top, with the shimmies back, you can do kind of anything you want to do, okay, make that a bit more exciting, see if you can really start to improvise. It's a bit boring right now. We can up it a little bit. I feel like you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna go two more times and that's all. Three. Step. And again, and we go one, two, three. One, two, three. Step. Take it forward. One, two, lift, drop. Lift, drop, shimmy her if you like. Take arms. One, two, one, two, three. Big, big, small, small from the top. One, two, three. Step, 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 step. And again, last one. Keep the smiling. <laughs> Take it forward. One, two, Lift, drop, lift, drop, shimmy. Arms go, big, big, small, big, big, small, big, big, small, big, big, small. And take it all the way up, exhale, releasing down. One more time in, all the way up, exhale, give yourself a clap. Well done, everyone at home. I hope you got as many movements as you can out of this. Remember that you can always go back and really work on especially those hip movements. 
to try and make the movement stretch even more to make it a bit longer. If you need any help, if you need any tips, comment below. Also, you can join Skype lessons with me in the comment um, in the little area underneath this video, which would have my website. Uh, you can buy these hip scarves of mine and you can join another one of my workouts. So I will see you in my next workout.